Hey there, Guardians. Bit of Destiny merch to share here. This is the official Grimoire Volume 1. Now, this should pique the interest of you lore junkies out there, but is it worth your glimmer? Let's dig and find it out. It's a handsome faux leather-bound tome weighing in at 127 pages. Scattered throughout are some new pieces of artwork, and you'll get an exclusive emblem to wear with pride and game. Now, content-wise, the grimoire is a little light. You see, on each of those 127 pages is, at the very most, five paragraphs, leaving quite a bit of blank space. I figured they wanted to go for a more tome-sized volume, but the amount of content missing here is noticeable. The book is kind of like their DLC. There's some nice things in there, but they're slicing that content mighty thin. There are a few new pieces of artwork, and this too, sadly, they skimped on, with only 14 illustrations. When I first heard about the grimoire, I imagined a codex, a synthesis of history, science, and lore, something you might find on Master Rebel's ship. In reality, it's more a collection of fragments presented without enough connective tissue to tie everything together. Now, the first section of the book is by far the strongest. Without giving anything away, I'll say you learn quite a bit about the Hive and their origins. The writing here is also fantastic, with visions of deep space leviathans swimming through the oceans of a gas giant, the awe and terror of our physical universe, and how small we living things really are in the grand scheme of it all. Let me give you a taste. <clears throat> they heard the collision of continents. They heard the patter and the crash of helium neon rain. They heard the struggles of monsters, and they heard the distant groan of the ocean rising, tugged by distant moons. The book delves into a few sketches of Guardians, but never really gets going anywhere of consequence. There are, in fact, more cameos by famous gear than bearers of the Traveler's Light. We're told legends about the Last Word and Thorn, but little of the Guardians who wielded these weapons. There's also a noticeable lack of recognizable characters. Kate Six, Zavala, Heck, even the Drifter would have been welcome to this lore party. And yet, some of the most interesting things in the Destiny universe, things that could spellbind us for hours and tales of mystery and daring, are, for some reason, glossed over. If I'm honest, Volume 1 feels like a shot in a miss. Some interesting shadows cast on the wall, but nothing we can really get our hands on. Sink our teeth in. Though, I will say, it is a step in the right direction, and Bungie, over time, has upped their storytelling chops. Both in-game and out, they've clearly got some ground to cover yet, though. My suggestion to them, on the offhand chance that anybody at Bungie actually sees this, is not be scared to get into the nitty-gritty. The people who would buy this, myself included, want to know the ins and outs of cabal politics. Who was the very first exo? And can Kate actually eat the ramen? Like, like, does he have, like, a robot stomach? Does he have flavor sensors? We must know. Now, you can get the grimoire for $24.99, and it's currently sold out on Bungie's store. However, Amazon does have it available, so I'll drop a link in the description if you are after a copy. All in all, I'd say it's worth getting, but only if you're a real Destiny lore, and at least in my case, merch junkie. Okay, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Let me know if you got any questions or comments, and keep it tuned here for all things Destiny. Till next time, happy hunting, Guardians.